Hello everyone. Welcome. Thank you so much for joining me. I'm Kitty Jones from Kits Interactive Theater and I'm delighted for those of you who are watching me live and for those of you who are watching it um, later on. Thank you so much. I am so excited. I am finally able to announce that I am launching today my play along movie, Cinderella's Fairy Godmother. And for those of you who've been watching this whole process, you know I've been working on this for years. Um, but today is the day I finally launch it out there and I'm so excited. Uh, it is a play along movie that I have actually rewritten and re-edited and refilmed three different times. And I'm really proud of this version, it's ready to go. And uh, I wanted to create, my goal was to create something that was really original and uh, imaginative, creative, and fun. And I think I nailed it. So it's been tested now with uh, seven-year-olds. It's been tested in the movie theater with three, four, five, six, eight-year-olds. And I know, it, I know they have a great time. So um, it all started, this whole process started back during COVID when I lost my whole live performing business, like everything else, just uh, shut down. And I got thinking about how the seniors in nursing homes were now in lockdown. They couldn't have visitors and how lonely that was. And then my mind went off to, well, what about kids in the hospital? Wait a minute, what about a, what about a little girl or boy in the hospital who's having a birthday and their parents can't even come into the room? Like how lonely and how scary is that? And that's when I decided I need to create a movie, a video, a connection with these kids so that they feel uh, safe and um, they can lose themselves for the length of my movie is 35 minutes and they can feel affirmed and it's pretty and it's lovely and there's participation and it's so imaginative. They get to use their imaginations. So that's how this all started. And as I said, I have had three different versions of it, but this one's ready to go. I've added animation and it's twinkly and it's fun and the kids are invited to play along. And that was my key. How do I make this interactive on video? And I figured out how, because this is presentational. I am talking directly to the kids, fairy godmother, moi, and Cinderella, and all the fairy tale characters that we meet speak directly to the children, ask them to get up and they participate in dancing and acting and singing. It involves all the performing arts, which is really cool. Um, so that we go off into Storyland, and there is a beginning, a middle, and an end to the movie, to the play. It is my live show rewritten for film. And they encounter different fairy tale, fairy tale characters, and the whole time they're becoming the pixies. And they have to hide from the giants, so they're using their imagination. There's a whole chant we do to make ourselves invisible. And periodically, you know, as we run into a different character, we might dance with Belle at the ball, and it's this glorious dance that they're taught quickly, and then they're asked to do it. There's parts for boys, there's parts for girls, or anybody can play any part, doesn't matter. Then they go off into the woods when they run into Little Red Riding Hood and there's a song and they play their instruments, play along with Belle, more on that in a minute. Um, but so it does involve all of the performing arts. And here's the really fun thing. There is a craft connected to this, if you so choose, because the kids can make their props before the show. Now you can enjoy the show without making any props and you can enjoy the show without even participating if you just wanna watch. It's still fun, it's still twinkly and fun and pretty and the animation's cool and the characters are lively. To me, it's like Mr. Rogers, but with lots of energy, <laughs> really high energy. Um, but the kids um, you know, really feel that I'm speaking to them. So in any event, the, 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 the props. So my friend, who's a beautiful artist, Betsy, uh, Becky Barcy, has designed this prop list. And these, because this was created during COVID, these are all items found around the home, right? People are in lockdown. And they're simple things. Everybody has a pillowcase. Everybody has in their pantry soup cans or dog food cans, some kind of cans. And those would be in lieu of the blocks that I use in the movie, those would be the horse hooves. Those would be part of the instruments. So uh, there's a list and you can make the props. Um, you, you gather many of the simple props that are found around the home, but there's two things that the kids make and you can make these as elaborate or as plain as you want, but it's the crown for the dance and the fairy wings for the song. Now, again, 
These, this comes with the video. These are downloadable instructions, and you can tell. You can. There's a whole vi, um, instructions on how to make a crown, and it's real simple. I'm going to show you real quick. You take a piece of paper. This is eight and a half by eleven. You cut it out. Two pieces of eight and a half by eleven. You get taped together. Eee, you have a crown. And as I said, you can make them as elaborate as you want. You can have the kids glue on these beautiful gems, sparkly ribbons. You can use glitter. It's messy. I wouldn't recommend it, but you can if you want to make a, an environment that you can use glitter. Um, but the kids use them. And then they have a keepsake after the show, something to remember it by. And the same thing with the fairy wings that they're going to play with uh, Little Red Riding Hood at the end. And the kids love this. So this movie is perfect for group environments, birthday parties. You've already got the craft built in. You could do it at daycare centers, YMCAs, uh, kindergarten classes. If you're an art teacher, you could do it uh, for your kindergarten, first grade, second grade, third grade. In fact, all throughout, I know my area in the Northeast in the third grade, they have a whole unit on fairy tales. How fun would this be to finish the fairy tale unit by having the kids make their props, gather them, bring them in from home, and then watch the movie at the end. And it promotes reading. There's a little part in it that promotes kids, you know, invites them to read more with Belle from Beauty and the Beast. So it's, it would be great if you have brownies, a great brownie troop for your classroom right before Thanksgiving. You're looking for something fun. The kids are pretty antsy. This would be a really cool thing for them to do before Christmas. And as I said, it's a birthday party. And now what's really neat is movie theaters, independent houses, they are often renting out their theaters for private parties. And we did this. You can, my uh, movie can be formatted for the big screen. And what you do is you have the kids come in in advance. You put up tables. They make their crafts. Then they go watch the movie. They play long. Again, it runs 35 minutes. It's the perfect length for younger kids. And they're up on their feet and they're hiding and they're, they're dancing and they're jumping up and down and singing along. So they're very much engaged. There's really not a dull moment. And then afterwards, you can have your cake and ice cream. And so it feels like it's an hour and a half, two hour event. That's long enough for a young kid. It's really original. You can be the first one in your town to do it. But most uh, independent film, uh, film houses are now doing that um, to make, you know, for a new revenue stream. But like I said, it would be great for camps. Um, let's say, um, you know, it's now too smoky and you'd plan on going out. Well, here, let's all watch the movie. I'll tell you, the, the uh, seven-year-olds and eight-year-olds who watched it, I was told after they, uh, they had so much fun watching it, and afterwards, the first thing out of their mouths was, is there another one? <laughs> and there will be, but here's the first one. But that's how much fun they had. They just wanted to do one right away, which is really cool. So there are two ways in which you can make this purchase. It's really simple. You buy it right off my website at kidsinteractivetheater.com. You click on online videos and bam, it comes up. Now there's two purchasing options I've created. One is a one-time purchase. You get a, uh, you, you'll put in your credit card and you'll get it for one month. You'll get a link sent right through your email to your home. And you take that link off your phone and you cast it on whatever big screen, whether it's at the movie theater or whether it's on a big screen in a um, community center or the library or the school. Everybody now has smart TVs and, and you can cast these. And it's $59 and you can watch it as many times as you want in that one month. You get unlimited access. Now, let's say that you're a, um, an art center, an art studio, and you have uh, crafts that the kids do and you have different sessions throughout the year or you're a camp and you have different sessions. Well, I've created also a monthly payment of only $14.99. You have access to it for a full year for $14.99 a month. So if you have, say you're a birthday party center and you have multiple parties throughout the month, for $14.99, here is this incredibly imaginative, fun, unique entertainment. But there's, it's more than just entertaining. There's, you know, educational value. Um, and of course, children love playing make-believe and acting out. It's so important. It's in our DNA. And here's an opportunity that's fairly structured for them to do it. So, uh, again, you can buy it uh, a monthly payment or you can just do it one time. So uh, I appreciate those of you who are here with me now or if those if afterwards, if you have questions for me, um, 
certainly, you know, uh, message me. I'll be happy to answer more questions. And um, again, it's called Cinderella's Fairy Godmother. There's the dress, <laughs> the dress alone. Oh, my costumer, Aline Brandt, is brilliant. So um, I, I thank you. I'm, I just feel, I'm so excited about this movie. I know the kids are going to love it. Um, it has been tested and they do. And I have put my heart into it for many, many years. So enjoy. Thank you so much for, for your kind attention. And I'm sure I'll be back talking with you all again soon. God bless. Thanks.